and uh, we're ending up here in town and city. I think this is a good stage for all of the characters involved. I think we're going to see... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening, but we're running it back. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but we'll see. Uh, you know, uh, Rob is the 10th heaviest character in the game. He weighs about 110% of average. Uh, slightly over. Uh, Bowser Jr. is the sixth heaviest character in the game, and uh, uh, Villager uh, is he's he's like he's like tied for like 18th or whatever. He's ever he's like two percent above average, something like that. So uh, all, all fairly heavy characters here, and uh, I, I think this is this stage is really good for all of them. We're, we're gonna uh, Rob can combo with the platforms really well and can really punishes punish uh, techs and landings on the platform because of course this up air is so good and uh, the platforms give them options in with which to like kind of move around and like make their projectiles less predictable uh, at the same time and we just saw it there with uh, you know villager dropping that bowling ball all these moving platforms of different heights are really really nice to drop bowling balls off of it, 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 we see him going for it again there oh Seth's throwing out that up smash. Uh, you know, he loves to, to, like, bait people to roll from the edge and then just beat them with that up smash. Great team combos there as uh, B&K gets the roll. B&K gets the beep. Sassy gets the boot. Down smash there. Not quite enough. Uh, Bowser Jr. Almost getting, almost losing a stock very early. Really patient play there from uh, Castro. Oh, down smash. That'll take it. Yeah. Uh, not not enough there. Not. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more from Castro. Not, a, not able to really uh, change... You know, change fields, uh, move out of the edge guard. As uh, Team Rob opens up a quick lead, you know, you know they want this because they, uh, as we said, you know they got sent to losers by Castro and uh, Krebs. So you know, let's go. More moving around, more stage positioning. Sassy, uh, I, 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 Sassy and B and K are are such good teammates, I think, and I, I think we're really going to see more, you know, smart situational team play from them. You know, one switching onto the other, so on and so forth. Oh. Man, that villager fair doing work. Trip Sapling is on the stage, and it's cast catching Castro in it repeatedly. Sassy making use of it, actually, uh, uh, setting up his own combos. Oh, they're both caught in that, but no, no deaths yet. Oh, turnips catching the Nair. B and K and, uh, and uh, Sassy still have not lost their first stocks. Of course, commentators curse as soon as I say that. There goes Sassy, and there goes B and K. And... Uh, the red team has opened up a lead right back, but uh, uh, they're both at very high percents. You know, again, uh, like I say, you know, two hits and could be two stocks. Nice extended edge guard. I, I really think that when Sassy can get uh, uh, Castro, get Bowser Jr. into these one-on-ones, that's that's when he's doing a lot of work. I feel like uh, Bowser Jr.'s neutral is pretty weak, and Sassy is a pretty good player, so he gets people into one-on-ones. Uh, he can definitely do some work. Yeah, I, I, again, we're we're seeing uh, stock tanking here from uh, from Krebs playing as villager. So, yeah, Bowser Jr. running that 170 percent, 130 coming here. Red team rocking 300 uh, percent, eating the down smash, getting thrown to the far side of the stage. Yeah, you don't we don't live those. Oh, tied up again on stocks, but what one hit could take could take villager out, and uh, we'd see Team Rob open up their lead again, open up that stock lead again. Sassy poking up from offstage with those projectiles. I, I can't say it enough. That's his thing. All right. More offstage play, play going on here. Bo both Rob's on the same side of the stage. Probably not where they want to be because of all of their projectiles. Beep and a boot. Trying to convert again. Nothing. Pokes, pokes there. These ledge setups. Oh, oh, oh. Bowser Jr. just throwing a stock away. Just not just not even getting back to the platform. Great Nair and a smash there out of Sassy. Grab combos here. Beep, boop, there we go. And we see four stocks to two. Real quick. That was a great read there from BNK, able to bait the air dodge. As, uh, oh, unfortunately, Krebs dropped the bowling ball right on his teammate. I, I feel like we've seen really, really strong uh, neutral play here from uh, Team Rob. Charge, charging those gyros. Uh, yeah, grab into. Nice air dodge. But baits out the air dodge to the ground and hits him with a down smash. Sassy trying to follow up with his own back air. Oh, back. We're going to see him dare at the edge and then roll into an up smash. Nah, not quite. You know that's what he's like. You, Sassy going to poke it again. B and K getting the kill off the top. Villager only at 77%. Looking pretty. Bowser Jr. at 140%. R strong opening game here from Team Rob. I mean, dare at the edge into up smash. There you go. Yep, that's exactly what he got. What he, just so well that, 
just just like he talks about it all the time. He does dare at the edge, to, and it baits people into rolling. And then he, did, but he can act more than fast enough out of his out of the dare to land right where you roll, meet you with that up smash, get the kill. We saw saw right there. I'm sure we won't see character switches. Uh, I I don't feel like uh, red team really needs to mix it up much stage wise. I think you know town and city battlefield. Uh, I don't think Dreamland 64 is legal, but but stages like that, you know, platforms, height. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind, uh, I, I think Delfino could be a good pick here. Uh, uh, though at the same time, you know, Rob loves that stage, beep boop, kills off the top. Um, uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe something like Duck Hunt, I, I, I think might be a strong stage for them to pick. Uh, Villagers could, uh, you know, is doesn't mind hanging out in the tree, dropping bowling balls. Uh, Bowser Jr. is uh, very heavy, so he lives a long time. And the stage plays a lot like Final Destination. Rob with a kind of only m kind of moderate frame data, you know. So his his pure neutral, not the most uh, not the most unbelievable, uh, you know. So you know maybe maybe getting being out. Though of course uh, Bowser Jr. does not have the greatest frame data either. Uh, I, I think I think I'd like to see uh, Town City Battlefield or uh, Duck Hunt. I think uh, something like Delfino with a low ceiling I don't think is strong. All right, and we're, it looks like we're going to Skyloft. Uh, not the first time we've seen it here in bracket. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so curious to see what kind of opening we get here and what kind of uh, interactions we get. Nice. Oh, Sassy getting that up tilt to up air to up air. Not me fat combos. Now Sassy getting juggled. As you see here, the uh, unusual uh, stage formations uh, probably create very inter interesting interactions. Another up air. So it's the Mecha Koopa. <laughs> Sassy uh, uh, shoots uh, B&K right at point blank range. I, I think that was a missed input. Pretty sure. Oh, uh, uh, we saw it right there. Uh, Villager is looking to pocket. And, and he did. He just pocketed the uh, forward smash there from... From uh, Bowser Jr., uh, Villager's walking around with a, f a fully charged, pocketed forward smash. You gotta keep an eye on that. See where it's gonna be coming out. There at the edge again, as Sassy goes down. Good lead here, and he's still got that pocketed forward smash. I'm still waiting to see what happens. There it comes out! There goes the stock! B and K going down. Good team combos here from uh, uh, from Red Team. And again, you know, as we've seen previously in other matches, it's. Villager's pocket on uh, teammates attacks are so powerful. So uh, six stocks to four right here. Sassy blues in an early one and those team combos just, you know, tearing B and K apart, sending them straight off the top. But there goes Villager at a strong angle. Wow, down smash killed there. The way it sends you at uh, such a flat angle. Forward smash, sparking some red lightning, but not quite enough there. Again, you know, Rob is heavy. More, more off stage play here. Oh, back air, wow. Sassy has lost two quick stocks. We're looking at three stocks to four, though. It's, it's you know still anyone's game, but great opening here from uh, from from the red team, from Castro and Krebs, really doing work. Curious to see what they come back with here. Nice snare. You got B and K looking for smashes. Oh, but eating one himself. Sassy eating some exploding balloons there. Not, definitely not what he wanted. Caught off stage. Oh, I, I think he had it there, but he didn't. Just just misread it slightly. I think he had what he wanted, but he wasn't able to actually land it. Oh, has to get in juggled again. Rob, Rob really bad when he gets when he's starting to get a, to get juggled. Oh, back air again. Sassy on his final stock, e eating percentage. Red team came out so strongly. Oh, there goes there goes B and K. Sassy at 130 though. Four stocks to two. More trades. More trades. Yeah, this, I, I, I mean, I can't say it enough. We've seen it with, oh, jeez. And there goes Sassy. We've seen Villager, Pocket. Oh, there it comes again. Looking for a little chili, chili going queso, but he catches his own teammate. <laughs> We've seen a Villager, Pocket, a Villager. Oh, PK using his reflector, trying to, trying to mess up the team combos there. As a, as a, it looks like uh, the uh, Castro as a Bowser Jr. is just uh, spamming these fully charged forward smashes, trying to 
trying to set up pockets or just some, you know, some janky cheese. They continue to cover. Oh, Castro with the position, but uh, it's just hitting the wrong way. Yeah, it gets, you know, uh, uh, shout-outs to Grandi, you know, showing that uh, he, you know, he's got that, you know, he, showing that, you know, two-on-ones are not impossible, but in some situations, like what we just saw, uh, uh, there's just nothing you can do. Sometimes the character matchups and stage matchups just make it almost impossible. As uh, Red Team brought it back, tying this up 1-1 uh, one -one here in a best of five. So it was, I call this the championship set, you know, it's 1-1, one -one, you've each got some data. If, if one team is a lot better than the other, this is the part in which they pull away. You know, lots, lots, of, lots of teams can, you know, anyone can win one game. It's about winning two or three, so. So, uh, again, you know, curious to see what stages we end up on. Uh, I, I, think, I, I think I really like Delfino for uh, Team Rob. Um, I, think I, like, I think I like Smashville, actually, because uh, the lack of platforms can make it really hard for, uh, like, platforms can make it very, very hard to uh, get in. With, uh, you know, like uh, the shena the villager shenanigans, you know, dropping the, you know, dropping the uh, bowling ball. But uh, where are we at now? Lilat, you know, I, I think I like this, uh, but I, I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. Uh, still, oh, again, villager with that pocketed forward smash. Not really, just uh, immediately opening up up of that. Looking for the opening seconds of the game and getting it, and just like we saw with, uh, you know. Just like we saw Jamie Andrew and BC do, that is so good. It can be so powerful that you can just pocket those smashes and uh, make people pay. Tap the B button and take a stock. Uh, tough position. You, uh, if you're fighting, uh, if you're fighting this villager right now, you just have to be keeping that uh, in mind. You have to be respecting that at all times. It looks like they're trying to set it up again. Oh, back air taking B in case for a stock. That's so getting juggled again. First stock down, but uh, it's, the, it's the second stock that determines the most. Six to five is not a lead. Five to four is not a lead. Sassy trying to convert, but uh, getting knocked around by uh, all the gyros. Looking for dares at the edge. Classic Sass. Yeah, Lilat up. Oh, whoa! Hitbox is flying everywhere. Sassy goes down. But, uh, you know... Uh, you know, red team is at kill percentage, and uh, blue team is still pretty low. So, you know, like I say, all it takes is two hits, and that could take two stocks. Sassy looking at the, the conversion. Beeps into... Oh, he baited that air dodge, but he wasn't able to do anything. Sassy fishing hard, going for up air right, in, right into a buffered down smash. Great great dancing around there from uh, Castro as he uses a second jump, fastballs, and lands with a down tilt. All right, Castro caught. That should do it. No! Oh, that poke! That was dear Tay. Oh my goodness. All right, five stocks to four. Yeah, I, Rob probably the team Rob probably wanting to sandwich their opponents and hardly ever be on the same side of the stage as one another. Uh, I did, there's so much projectile uses and they're so big that it can be really hard to get anything going. Up air into all right. Up air to gyro, dropping the gyro at the edge. Again, up air. Oh, Sassy really putting in work right here. And they really need to get this kill on the village. They, they do not want him living much longer. Take, stock, uh, stock tanking, as the saying goes. That villager trips out when uh, perfect, perfectly positioned to uh, interrupt Sassy's uh, down air to uh, up smash combos right at the ledge. All right, we see it again. You know, Bowser Jr. has been eating some damage. You know, Villager has been stock tanking, and that's great, but... Oh! Oh, oh they're trying to set it up again. They're trying to set up the forward smash pocket combos. More, more pokes, more lasers, more more gyros. Yeah, Villager at 200%. Not something you see every... Not, not something you see every day. Coming back in strong here. Oh! More pokes. More pokes. Yeah, I, this is not yeah, the game is suddenly slowed to a halt with uh, trip sapling uh, shutting down uh, approaches on the ground, and with both these characters with Noom. Oh, 
Oh, not like that. After living to 230%, Illager goes out to his teammates forward smash. I guess he was trying to set up a combo, but it just did not work out well. One good hit on Bowser Jr. and this uh, game is tied up on stocks, but uh, er, and uh, excuse me, Team Rob will have taken a stock lead, but they're both at very high percents. Anything could happen here. All three, three of these characters are one hit away from losing their stock. Gyro again. Gyro hitting Gyro and sending two Gyros flying across stage. A lot, a lot of Greek food getting thrown around the stage. Oh, did he pull off that pocket? I couldn't quite tell. There, oh, the reflector! He pulled it out, but again, it reflected right back at him. Three stocks to three. This is anyone's game. Both, both Sassy and uh, uh, Beam here at, at very high percentages. Oh, great, great work right there by Krebs. This is able to carry Sassy off with the exploding balloons catching him. Not quite enough. Oh, there it goes. Three stocks to two. Well, Team Rob uh, is probably going to be content to poke at this point. Yeah, with a with a, a stock lead, but one of them at kill percentage. And no, no sooner have I said that than, the, than it's brought back. This is almost an, a perfectly even game, even based on percentages. Up air into, not able to convert. Sassy looking to do some work as he uh, gets here and is uh, into a one on two. Gyro is flying across the stage. B and K eating a, a wide angle laser from uh, from Sassy. Sassy carrying the Mecha Koopa. You know, you know that uh, uh, Krebs and Castro are, would love to set up that pocketed forward smash again. It didn't work out. Worked out well the first time. It got reflected the second time. All right. A after spending the whole the whole game, the whole first three games, seeming trying to sandwich one another, both these teams are content to uh, stand on the same side as the teammate and start throw out hitboxes and poke. Nice up air from Sassy. Looking to convert. Nothing doing there. Great clown car. So I'm, I'm still surprised we're not seeing any team combos here from uh, uh, from uh, Castro and uh, Krabs since they try to set up. Any, they don't seem to be trying to set up any pockets. Oh, that'll take that'll take the uh, villagers' final stock, and we, we get a two on one. The trip saddling still on the stage, almost like a, a monument. Remember me. All right, more, more mecha poop is coming out. Try, still trying to cover there. BK throwing out some big hitboxes right here. Alright, Sassy. Oh, I knew you know Sassy's looking for that down air to up smash. Oh, they're covering your wall. Sassy maybe a little maybe a little bit overspaced actually. Maybe playing giving me a little bit too much respect. As they continue they continue to poke. Continue to look. Tend to take that damage, and both of them, of course, are, are at very high percentages themselves. You know, this is exactly like what Grand Grandi came back under. He was uh, he he was at high percentage, but so were his opponents, and it took two two good hits, one hit to make it a one on one, another hit to cash it in. Both of them playing very safe, which I respect. Oh, here we go. He's gonna drop it. Oh, this sandwich just like they wanted. Smash. All right, there you go. Oh. The whole, all right, now the whole venue is brought around for this.